Hey guys, Tristan Ascona here, and I'd like to give you this nice tutorial on a bug that you want in your system. Now, usually when you think of a bug, um, what comes into mind is usually uh, these scary creatures that are, they cause a lot of problems, tons of problems, they are very destructive, and they are scary, right? But not this one. This bug is one of the good guys, and I'd like to introduce Firebug! <sighs> yeah, what Firebug does is inspects HTML and modifies style layout in real time. So this makes, actually, this makes um, modifying WordPress a lot easier. You don't really have to know HTML or style, uh, style CSS and all that, but you just need to learn a bit of the basics, and it allows us to personalize WordPress themes our blog to you know to, to meet what we want and um, yeah so let's go on and show you Firebug so to get Firebug you go to getfirebug.com getfirebug.com and you can install Firebug for free yes I said it right it's free and now um, yeah so you know where to get Firebug, you can install that, or you can install it as an add-on for Firefox, and there's also for other versions, other um, web browsers. So, like it says, it inspects it inspects HTML and modifies style in layout in real time, and it does debugging as well. So, this is a bug that you would like to have in your system, and I'm going to show you <coughs> the Firebug in action. So, let me go to my blog, tristanandiscona.com. Alright, <clears throat> let me show you my, my blog. So, how does Firebug work? Well, for one, so let me activate Firebug here. So you see, this is the Firebug interface. So it looks at my layout in real time. And so let me show you the amazing capabilities that it can do. So if I select this part I, I, let's say I want to get rid of this date so what I'm gonna do is right click inspect element and it's automatic Firebug automatically brings you to that element so you can see here it's P class April 8 right and it also t brings me to the style settings so this is in the in your WordPress the it tells you which CSS the style sheet it uses uh, it gets the code from, so it's from style.css, line 396, so it says here post date, so this is the details for that, and what I could do is uh, I could right click, uh, new property, and so I say I want, uh, I don't want to show the date, all I can do is say display, then say none, and what that happens is, as you can see, the date has disappeared. Now, isn't that isn't that something? So um, there's a lot of things you could do that. So, but don't worry, it doesn't. It didn't really modify it like in your site. It actually just shows you if what would happen if you modify a certain style by putting certain um, variables on. But actually, let me show you. If I refresh it, it's it doesn't really change anything in the site. It just shows you uh, what. What would it be if um, had it been display none or you know it allows you to see things and you know you could work on it so let me do let me do something uh, another example is like it allows you it also easily allows you to search where wherever that line of code needed to modify a certain uh, object in your theme so okay let me see um yeah okay um yeah so say i want to change my this title so all i do is just right click inspect element inspect element it brings me straight to my class title and also the style sheet related to my, to my title i could change the font size i say i want to make it 500 percent 500 oh where's that Okay, uh, let me, let me refresh that, <laughs> uh, made a bit of a mistake, 
because I'm using, I've just been using Firebug for uh, just a few days now, but it's really cool. So let's say I wanted to change my title, so I'm gonna expect element brings me to title, it's 250 percent. Let's say I want it to be 500 percent. So I'll enter that. So as you can see, it's now 500 percent big. Or let me just try it at 100 percent. Then. So you can see it at 100%. See, it's just a matter of, you know, you could experiment and how, how it looks like, which would be better. Um, you could figure out and sort things out. If you, you know, if something's wrong with your with your layout, you know, CSS or overlays, this is the, th this is the bug that will help you through. All right, it's a super bug. It's fire bug. So, um, yeah, so, as you can see, it does tell you which um, which which CSS file, which style sheet you have to modify, and which line. And so, um, to help you do this, so it's like it says here, it's style CSS line three three three. So if I wanted to change something here, then I would go to the style CSS file and find line three three three. So to make it easier when you modify your um, your CSS styles right inside your blog um, one plugin I would recommend you add you you add to your WordPress would be um, WordPress code editor because what it does is it adds that line it shows you that line let me show you uh, if I was to go to my editor so I'll go to appearance themes let me minimize this for a while. Uh, editor. Alright, as you can see, if I go to my editor, I have this line. I chose me per line. So, if I go to style.css, line 333, then that would be where I would want to do my editing for the uh, title. See, as you can see, H1 title, bold, font size, and whatnot. So it's uh, the plugin is WordPress Code Editor. It's free. All you have to do is search it in the plugin database, add new, and search for WordPress Code Editor. And this will show you the um, the CSS code per line, which will help you when when you're using Firebug. So. That's it for this quick tutorial for today. If you like it, please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And yeah, this is one bug that you would like to have in your system. So this is Tristan Amascona with a nice tutorial for today. See you soon. God bless.